had a situation with the player. This is Dimitri Payet. He wants to leave. Yes, guys, welcome back. Today is the day for West Ham versus Crystal Palace. But first of all, I want to go into the Dimitri Payet situation. So, yes, it is official. Dimitri Payet no longer wants to play for West Ham. Bilic came out in a press conference the other day and announced it. It really took the world by storm by the looks of things. Twitter went into meltdown. Facebook went into meltdown. But it seems like Bilic has loads of support behind him now after all of this. Considering all the criticisms he's been getting recently, it seems like every West Ham fan behind him really, really disappointing because if you think about it, if we'd had a really good start to the season, if we're really high up the table right now, maybe Pi would want to stay and you know maybe want to continue out his contract. However, of course, we had such a rough start losing our games. I'm just hoping the club do sort this out a ASAP. We do not need this negativity of the club, especially at how bad we've done the season when we really need to try and push up. Hopefully, this can bring the team together. Hopefully, it can make them play as a unit and make them see, hang on, you know, let's prove to everyone that we, we're better off without him. Hopefully it can generate some sort of belief in the side and to go on and take points because today we've got Crystal Palace and that is not going to be an easy game. So I do believe in West Ham. I'm hoping for a really, really good game. I'm hoping that we can try and take three points. It would be massive for us. It would push us up to ninth in the table, I think. Especially against a Sam Allardyce team where he's going to play very, very defensively. And it's going to mean a lot to him in particular and the way we got rid of him. So, come on you guys. Let's get to the vlog. Let's do it. What is going on, you guys? And welcome back. So, my pilot rent is over. It is now time to vlog the game and get to it. I'm just going to go to the pub now and get a few pints. Let's get to it. Let's get clips of the day. I think today the result is going to be 1-0 to Crystal Palace. I'm not very optimistic, especially with all the hoo-ha that's gone on with the Pirates situation. I think we're, as they say, kicking while they're down. I think that Palace is going to really, really go to the advantage of uh, knowing that uh, we're in a bit of trouble at the moment. And also, especially this whole Pirates situation, they're going to really go for it today. So, I'm hoping we can give them a good game. But knowing our dice's tactics, he's going to play very defensively. So, come on you irons, let's get to it. I'm going to go to the pub now. Watch the Tottenham game, cannot wait. Let is, let's do it. Three nil. I know, it's outside, woo. Come on you guys, I want a good performance today. Need three points massively after all this drama. Right you guys, we we'll, uh, just came back from the pub now, walking up to Olympic Stadium now. Going to be completely honest, Tottenham were having a field day against West Brom. I think it's two nil to them still. From when I last looked, it could be different now. Uh, absolutely wiping the floor of them. Um, I think it's going to be a huge three points to them because they stay above Arsenal, but I'm not interested in them, I'm interested in West Ham now. We really need to try and take three points. The sad news is the bananas are gone. But they're on the four. Today is not going to be a good day, I think. I think because the bananas are on the floor, we're going to lose now. I think that's it. I think we're going to lose now. I think we're going to lose 1-0. That's my genuine prediction. I'm not saying because of the bananas, but I actually think we're going to lose 1-0. Hopefully that's not the case and hopefully we can get a win, but we just never know Crystal Palace It's where we, we, we struggle against them at home. We can beat them away, which is mad. They have put the they've put the bollards back Three points, please. They really do as well, especially after this pipe rubbish. Come on, I believe. I believe. It doesn't really work when I believe, but I believe today it will. Come on. Come on, you guys. I believe. Come on. 
those bubbles have just exploded. Look at them. The game has literally just kicked off and the first thing the West Ham players did was sing Super Southern Village. Now that is amazing support in my opinion. Absolutely fantastic from us. Show them with support and after all this rubbish with Pyatt, completely deserved from Billet. Completely deserved from the fans. Billet deserves all the praise he gets. You know, for a place that's got loads of empty seats. The fans can create quite an atmosphere here. I'll tell you what, I mean, the fans are ripping into Pyatt quite badly, uh, singing F off Pyatt, Dimitri Pyatt, singing something else, but they're non stop singing that song about how they're slagging off Pyatt. Then right after seeing Super Slav and Billet, Completely, I'm actually really happy about that. I've got two points for West Ham, but I'm not gonna lie, not a lot of chances being created for us. I mean, I think we're more dumb not on the ball, but there's just not a lot going on at the moment. Palace are definitely in good fan form with their fans. It's got a drum, it is really, really annoying to listen to now. I'm not sure what's happened, but I'm zooming in now. But the police have got involved something to do with Palace over there. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but there you go. It seems to be trouble in the away end. The Gooley with an outstanding pass straight to home. Nobu ran down the wing, booed it in. Carroll on the volley, just couldn't get quite enough connection to put it in the back of the net. Flew straight over the crossbar, so unlucky. First proper chance either team has had at the moment. Free get West Ham. I'm not sure who's going to take it. I'm actually, I kind of want Lanzini to take this, but I don't know who will. I'm hoping. I'm hoping we can still get someone the same type of boot Pyatt did and put it in there. Come on, West Ham. I believe. That's all over the place, but I do believe still. Nothing. Cleared, cleared, cleared. Palace's first shot on target came from a volley. Darren Randall had no trouble stopping it. But uh, it was from well outside the box, so. But I tell you what, we need to pick this game up. We've got to put, we've got to put chances in the back of the net now. It's getting ridiculous. Palace on a free kick on the edge of the box. Noel put in a really, really stupid tackle um, to give way to Palace like that. Palace booed it in the box. Tompkins for Palace tried to put a shot in the back of the net. Just missed. That would have been devastating if Tompkins had scored against us. Half time, nil nil. Nothing really. I have to admit, Sam guys, very disrespectful coming up to West Ham fans and going like this with his ear. Very, very disrespectful from him indeed. Second half kicked off. That could have been a really awkward start for Palace. Tompkins made a really awkward pass back to the keeper. Um, Carroll ran onto it. The keeper booted it away. So close. So close for Andy Carroll to score then. We've got a corner. Come on, West Ham. The atmosphere has boomed in this ground. Come on, you Irons. Figurely takes the corner. That was used to score. Cleared. Come on, West Ham. We've got to put it in the back of the net now. How on earth is that not in the back of the net? Andy Carroll with another fantastic shot. Just, just wide. Nil-nil still. Sam Byron so close to scoring. Just so unlucky. We are, I don't know how we're not scoring in this game. We're in minute 66 and we can't put anything in the back of the net. Come on. 1-0 West Ham. After all the time we should have scored, we got it. For Gooley. For Gooley of all the people scored the goal. Brilliant. Antonio destroyed the keeper, booed it in, the Gooley puts it in the back of the net. Right, Crystal Palace on the corner. We have still got about 17 minutes before extra time kicks in. Cleared. Corner has been cleared. Come on. That should be 2-0 there. To be fair, Palace have had a lot more domination on the ball now. Nothing really threatening for them. But Antonio just went on the... Um, once he went through more like Messi then. I'll stick to Antonio. All Antonio had to do was boot it. To be fair, it was a weird, it was tight angle. Um, however, just put it wide. Come on, West Ham. We've got to get a second. We need to cement this. We need a clean sheet and a good win. Come on. Come on, West Ham. Dimitri who? So, I mean, it's Lancini who boot, Antonio boots it in. Andy Carroll with an over a kick in the back of the net. No one beats that. No keeper in the world. Dimitri who? After that celebration, I do not think I have seen Village so animated in all my life. He is proper, I mean, my hat's all over the place. I can't even get it straight. But I've never seen Billy so animated in all my entire life. Oh my God, it's 3D. Let's see the mugged off Crystal Palace's keeper. I do not believe it. He absolutely destroyed him. Absolutely destroyed him. Chipped him. Absolutely loved the keeper. Back in it, 3 0 West Ham. My God, I've never seen Billy sign a made at a game. Go on, mate. Go on, mate. Go on, my son. Go on. Go on, man. 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 Come on for a 
Antonio. Man of the match is Andy Carroll. I completely agree with that. And uh, yeah, I think he's been the best player out there by far, creating chances. And that overhead kick was world class, including Lanzini's chip on the keeper. Absolutely outstanding, world class, a great performance in West Ham. Totally deserved this. About time. Full time, 3 0 West Ham. Well played, absolutely buzzing. 3 0 win. Well deserved. About time we got something going our way. Due to the fact that we actually won and we smashed Crystal Palace, I, I thought I could uh, treat myself today. Spicy bean burger and chips, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, I'll tell you what it's like. Chips are decent. It's pretty decent. It's decent. I love it. That dude is Sullivan. Hmm? What's his name? That's <laughs> buzzing day out huge three points to walk for West Ham United it is ginormous for us I mean especially you know after all this rubbish has gone rubbish has gone with Pyatt this week I think the funny thing about all of this is that we played really really well without him actually that's the best Premier League performance I've seen all season and Pyatt was nowhere to be seen the scene the only thing I have to say is that I just feel Pyatt needed to show a little bit more respect when leaving I think that if he had uh, left in the summer, I think it would have gone a lot better with the fans and he would have left here a legend. But no, he went out in not a good style, meaning that the West Ham fans aren't happy with him. Uh, if you saw in those clips a minute ago, they, the West Ham fans can't actually stand him now. Which um, is it's really disappointing at the end of the day, because the bloke was really good for us. And boy, did he have some absolutely world-class moments. But how he went about everything was just wrong. And because of that, it destroyed his reputation at West Ham. So, my only words are, is that good luck to the, his future, but there is no way he's ever going to be playing for West Ham again after that. But still, massive three points, puts us 12th in the table, we are three points off of the ninth position, again, because all of the results sort of went our, didn't go our way, but, you know, it's fine. But um, I'm absolutely buzzing, you know, it, it was huge three points for us today, and uh, especially with Aladar, especially when it's against Aladar as well, I think, it, I think it means that a little bit more to us when it's against Aladar, so absolutely buzzing at the moment. And also, happy birthday, Arabola. Thank you very much for jumping in my vlog. It meant a lot. I'm hoping that you might watch this. If you do, thank you so much. Um, you lot were really, really good. All your friends were really, really funny in their suits. Um, um, I was so glad to see you lot there. The thing with Arabola, it, it was he didn't just come into the uh, pub just to say, pop in, say hello, and sign autographs stuff. He came in to actually join in and have a laugh with all the West Ham fans, which. I thought was very, very legendary actually. I thought that was absolutely fantastic and a genuinely very nice bloke. Same with all of his friends, so very, very happy to hear all that. And also, it was his birthday, as I just said there, happy birthday. I nicked the football off of the uh, off of the birthday cake, and if you can see there's still a bit of icing on there. But uh, yeah, so I nicked the uh, football on top of it and uh, sorry, but I had to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this and uh, treasure it. Right guys, if you enjoyed this vlog, I'm not going to lie, this is one of my favourite ones I think I've made so far. I'm very impressed with how I've made this. Thank you guys so much for all the support, I've been getting all the feedback and everything. It really means a lot hearing it all. With this spirit we've got as well, I mean, Pyatt not playing, with this spirit, I, I, 
I believe anything is possible now. I really, really do believe in that. So, very proud Hammer today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Please leave a comment what you thought about the game. Are we better off without Pyatt, would you say? And this isn't just to West Ham fans, it's to all fans. You think West Ham are better off without Dimitri Pyatt? I'd love to hear you guys' opinion. Thank you guys very much for watching, and please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon. Oh,